Greetings everyone, this educational video is about the production of butyl acetate. Butyl acetate is an ester that was widely used in chemical industries as an intermediate in organic synthesis as well as solvent for paints and coatings. Since esterification is the process to produce ester, butyl acetate is normally produced directly from acetic acid and butanol via esterification reaction by using mineral acids such as sulfuric acid as the catalyst. Conventionally, production of butyl acetate in industries consists of activate reactor where esterification reaction occurred and connected to a train of distillation column for product separation purpose. However, in the case of our selective process, since the reaction is equilibrium limited, both esterification and separation processes are carried out in a single vessel in which the combination of both is called the reactive distillation. Furthermore, reactive distillation is also chosen because it offers several advantages such as improved selectivity, increased conversion, better control of heat, effective utilization of reaction heat, and prevent the formation of easier drops. Next, the reaction scheme. The reaction is a reversible reaction whereby one butanol is heated with acetic acid in the presence of mineral acid as catalyst to produce butyl acetate and water. The figure shows the process flow diagram PFT for the production of butyl acetate using reactive distillation column. We will further look at the process parameters on the reactive distillation column. This is the technical drawing on the reactive distillation column. As you can see, there are 34 stages in the distillation column. Stages 1 until 11 are rectifying zone, stages 12 until 24 are reaction zone and stripping zone is from stages 25 until 34. Let's look into fresh feed. Acetic acid was packed at stage 13 and 1-butanol at stage 16. Both acetic acid and 1-butanol are fed with same operating condition which is at 50 kmol per hour, 298 Kelvin and at 1 atmospheric pressure. Acetic acid and 1-butanol are fed into columns separately to increase the purity of butyl acetate. Next, we will look into top product. The top product for this reactive distillation column is mainly water and a small fraction of butyl acetate, acetic acid and 1-butanol. The enthalpy and entropy value for top products are as stated here. Negative enthalpy means that the reaction are exothermic reactions. Let's look into bottom product. From the bottom product of the reactive distillation column, butyl acetate is obtained. Here upon condensation, it separates into two liquid phases in the decanter. The organic phase consists of butyl acetate, butanol and acetic acid which is refluxed back to the column, whereas the aqueous phase mainly water is removed as a distillate. 